Hello everybody, it is Zachany333, and it's time for some more Oregon Trail. So last time we beat the game's ass on difficult, somehow, thankfully. And now it is time for what I've been waiting for for the longest while, which is suicide difficulty. So let's play this fucking shit, let's do a new game. I'm fucking hyped, campaign. And for any who are just joining us, I don't know, or who's been around, I'm gonna do this real quick, explain the difficulty. So, the difficulty you pick will determine the amount of supplies you can scavenge at the start of your journey. So yeah, we will have the least amount of supplies at the beginning. Difficulty also affects the enemy's speed, landmark distances, and event occurrence rates. So yeah, the enemies are gonna be at max speed here, landmarks are gonna be far as fuck, and we're gonna have tons of events, I'm assuming negative ones. But we will be rewarded with a multiplier at the end of uh, the game for the score. But <laughs> yeah, for the score. So yep, we whooped its ass on easy, we did normal, and last time we did difficult, so here we go guys. Suicide difficulty. Let's commence this motherfucking shit. So yeah, we have a co-op, but we're gonna skip that. And yeah, like I told you guys last time, um, in I think the credits, I unlocked the King Ash from Evil Dead, but unfortunately I'm not going to play as him right now. I want to stick with, with what we've been doing. So, this is me, the dude. So yeah, we're going to choose the dude for me, you know, to keep in line with the whole, yeah, roleplay thing. So yep, we are the dude, Agony333. And we're going to play the intro just to see how fast the zombies are. Because I'm assuming it will show us the fast rate that they're going to be. So I'm very curious to see just how fucking... Oh well, so far for the intro they're not showing it, so... We might have to wait until actual game, but... This helps me get the shooting down again, because it's like... I don't know, it's like no matter how used to it you get... Uh, it's like one of those games where... At least to me it seems like if you're not careful... You can easily kind of uh, slip out of being used to it, if that makes any sense to you. It's a tricky aiming thing. But there we go, we met Clemens once more, saving our bacon. We're gonna put our fucking name in there. Once more, for the final fucking time, I think. So yeah, Agony. So yep, there I am, Agony. And here comes our brand new cast of characters, our brand new people. The last group, I think, that we'll have. And the first person, actually. Let me put the person's name in here first, and I'll explain who they are. So, the first person I'm putting as Fanboy. So who is Fanboy? Well, there is a very good friend of mine that I've known for the longest time since school days, basically. So basically, yeah, elementary, middle school, high school. He's a hardcore fucking gamer and, yeah, well acquainted with movies and all kinds of stuff. And uh, him and his other friend, which I'm going to put below. So yeah, there's Fanboy. And then let me put the second person here. Let me type this shit out fast. And the second person is the Analyst. So yeah, Fanboy and the Analyst. Like I said, Fanboy is a really good friend of mine, and the Analyst is basically his partner. I, I, just per I personally don't really know him, other than, you know, what I've seen in videos, because yes, they both have a channel, which I'm going to link in the description. They have a gaming channel and stuff like that. So if you guys want to, you know, go get to kind of know them, they make some really good stuff. Check out the uh, description. I will have their channel linked in there. Really cool channel. Really cool fucking dudes. Badass gamers. So yeah, that's basically the info on these two. Fanboy and Analyst. So, who the fuck is number three? Let's find out. So number three, some of you may know, is Angel. So, who's Angel for any who don't know? Angel's another friend of mine that I've had for the longest time since, you know, high school and stuff. And uh, she's also been featured in some other videos of mine as well. There's a cut, I think like one or two maybe Red Dead videos where she's just briefly talking in the background. She was in the voice chat with me in depth. And she's predominantly featured in uh, the Killing Floor series. So 
if you want to go get to know this badass gamer, because she's another hardcore gamer, really big into uh, Final Fantasy and Resident Evil and uh, a very big Smite player, so anyone who likes Smite and stuff, uh, yeah, go check out the Killing Floor videos. She's basically partnered up with me and Death during those Killing Floor videos. She's really skilled at that game. So yeah, there's Angel from Killing Floor and other stuff. And here comes my last partner in this. So... And it is Kira, which is another really cool friend of mine. Um, she's also, you know, a really cool gamer and big-time anime fan and stuff. Likes the Marvel movies and... I think like some metal music and stuff, likes all kinds of cool stuff. Similar things, I guess. But uh, yeah, that is going to be who my group is today. This is going to be the final fucking group. Let's see who the hell survives. Because as you guys know, everybody besides me has died to this point. So we're going to have to do our damned best to keep them alive. So yeah, fanboy, analyst, Angel, and Kira, let's go! Let's fight the zombie hordes! The names are correct, motherfucker. Oh yeah, we're gonna skip this because we've already seen this many times. So let's see, we got the station wagon. And we got the SUV, which we've been using the SUV. And I think everything else is locked, unfortunately. We have to beat suicide to unlock this one. Bandit King. All the skulls for endless mode. And that's another thing I'll say, guys. I'm not certain yet. Let's go with uh, the SUV again because the durability I want. I'm not certain though, but I may, very well may, come back for an endless mode playthrough. I'm not certain yet. Because I just love this damn game and I want to play the fuck out of it. But yeah, SUV, let's go. I've stalled long enough. So yeah, let's uh, get this controls down again. Because like I said, it's just... It's one of those games where once you feel like you know it... See what I mean? I just miss a shot. You feel like you know it, and then next thing you know, the game is fucking... Smashing you in the fucking nuts and getting your ass kicked. Yeah, you're getting your ass kicked and stuff. Alright, let's move to the car. And get the very beginning of this journey rolling here. I'm excited as fuck to just see how crazy the carnage is going to be. Yeah, alright. Going to DC. As we all know for anybody who's watched the other playthroughs. Here's the base journey, which is going to get Clemens fucking killed. Like always. And it's always the same exact way, too. That's what's funny. He always breaks his arm. He always gets to sentry. And then he always gets fucking chomped on the fucking asshole by zombies. So, yes. And then we run out of fuel. But here we are at our first location, DC. Which isn't really an official location. It's a starting point. So yeah, blah, blah. They're going to bomb the fucking city. And as also for this kind of roleplay, quote-unquote, type thing, I've been saying through these playthroughs that basically... I attribute the difficulty increase with with it basically being the infection is getting worse and worse. So this is at its peak though, guys. We are on the hardest difficulty. It's at the peak. So yeah, it looks like we'll have to, yeah, blah, blah, and put Clemens down after this. But look at that. Look at that. They halved that shit. I thought we'd have six hours remaining to scrounge for our base supplies. We don't, guys. We only have four fucking hours. We only have four things to choose. So what are we going to choose? That is a tricky one. We need fuel to move. So we're going to do one for fuel to move. Oh my god, this is rough as fuck, dude. This is really rough, I gotta say, dude. Oh my god, I just... We need some base food. So I have to do some food then we need med kits. We have to have them to heal up. And I think instead of money, I'm going to go with ammo. We need we need ammo to fight. So there. We're going to have fuel to move because we need fuel to drive. We need food to, to have something to eat or we'll start starving. We have to have med kits to heal in the beginning and we need some ammo to even fight back. We can't have any money, batteries, tires, mufflers, nothing for our cars. So let's go. That is... I thought it was going to be six, but that's rough. So here's our group. We've joined the party, and now we put Clemens down. And yeah, I gotta really get used to this, because if a bandit comes up, I gotta get used to headshotting, because I got Death killed, I got uh, Karen killed, 
So yeah, Agony put down Clements. Again. How many fucking times does that have to happen? I wonder. So choose the route. So here is our first fucking actual journey, my guys. So we can go to Pittsburgh, which is the shortest. 368 miles. Good supplies. Tinted windows. I can't remember what tinted windows do. And also, I'm going to tell you guys, this will probably be the slowest playthrough. As in, like, we're going to really probably hunker down here, maybe. I'll see how it goes, but... Okay, light supplies in action here. So that's further away, and it's in radiation. We're going to do this. There's no reason why not to. It's out of radiation. It's got better supplies. And yeah, so let's go. Let's embark. 368 miles to Pittsburgh, and that I believe the distance is longer. You aren't sure which way to go, you lose an hour bickering with Angel. Oh man, that's uh, not good at all. But, okay. I'll, I'll take that. So we're gonna probably be barraged, I imagine. I, yeah. Who knows? Angel realizes they left four fucking fuel! That's half of our fucking fuel! Are you shitting me? Holy fucking crap! Our fuel has been halved immediately. You suddenly find yourself surrounded by zombies. Holy fucking balls. Holy fucking balls. We have an onslaught. And look at that, they move a little bit quicker, they do. So yeah, we have an onslaught immediately. Our fuel has been fucking halved. We have barely any supplies. I really need these perks, too, to reload and to move faster. Because, yeah. Uh, remember, guys. I have no perks right now. So we're going to be just surviving on the bare minimum. God damn it. Oh my gosh. This is just rough already. Reload faster, bitch. Oh my gosh. And you know, really? I probably need to get used to using a different gun, to be honest with you, because this is just killing ammunition. You survive the attack. Well, thankfully, we survived the first barrage. But we're going to be stranded on the side of the road if we're not careful. You think your tires is on its last leg, but you keep going. Holy fuck, man. Holy fuck. And it rains to make us drive slower. Dude, like, we're just getting fucking hammered here. Like, you find a fuel can. Thank God we got one fuel back. Hopefully that at least gets us to the town, dude. Fanboy has dysentery. Shit. Sky clears up. So, yes, yeah, someone's already sick already. But there we are. Heavy ash covers the windshield, which forces you to slow down again. Holy shit. A blizzard? What? The coal will tax your health and you'll drive more cautiously. But we made it to Pittsburgh. Thank fucking God. Thank fucking God. So, we're in Pittsburgh now. Holy shit, but we're doing okay. Our health is okay, I say. Our SUV is okay. But our supplies are fucking miserable. And it's deadly right now. We need backups too. So we have a lot of work to do, guys. We have a lot of work to do. So yeah, look, our jobs are fucking incredibly difficult, but look at that, they give us a good amount of stuff. Two med kits for dangerous and suicide. I'm gonna chance the dangerous, guys. I'm gonna go to the graveyard and try to find the thing. Because those two med kits would really come in handy. I think I can maybe manage it. Let's go as fast as we fucking can. Come on, you bitch. Come on, you fucking bitch. Come on, get that crate. Get the fuck out of there. Quickly. Ah, fuck! Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Fuck! Oh my god, no. This is bad. I'm gonna get cornered. Go, 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 go! Run, you fucking son of a bitch, run! Escape agony, yes! Holy shit, we made it, guys. That is great. Earned two med kits. Thank God. Okay, so wait, what's recovery? Uh, That's where we drop something precious. Suicide, but we have three batteries from that. 
Let's chance it. Let's fucking chance it. I need to get risky here a bit. It's a very dumb move, but... I think we need to go for it, guys. I think we need to go for it. Holy fuck, they do move fast. Look at that. They are just on us. But as long as we keep moving, I think we'll be okay. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Look at this. Just holy shit. Just please no fast movers. Just please no fast movers. Please. Oh, you bitch. Get out of my fucking way. Yeah, because also strafing kind of seems to uh, fuck you worse. And there's the item. Does that mean we win? I can't remember if we automatically win. I think we do. Made it. Yes. Okay, I risked it and I earned it. Great. Thank God I am pulling out the skills right now. So, that is great. We have our extra battery we needed and we got two more to maybe barter with. But it is deadly right now and I don't think we need to go out into the deadly fucking yeah. I don't think we need to go out there. But let's check out the upgrade. So heat wave causes no damage. Fuck that. I don't even want that shit. I don't want that crap. It's Let's check what our uh, Yeah, okay, good. We have a surplus of supplies here. And actually that reminds me, the prices were incredibly high last time. So I'm wondering the further out in your journey you go, the higher the price of things is. So we might want to stick around here in Pittsburgh for quite a while, guys. Yeah, it is deadly. Um, I'm trying to think what we should do exactly here. I think what we should do... Let's talk to a stranger first. One child was eaten by my husband when we had just started off for safe haven. Now I travel alone with my five children. The eldest, Caleb, is 11. I fear he'll be the man of the family before he hits puberty. So yeah, rough stuff already, guys. But let's go fishing. We have to wait... Well, we have to wait the time down a little bit. Oh, we have 15 fucking food. So we are going to fucking starve if we're not careful here already. So yeah, we have a full group I forgot. But yeah, I have to hope... My fishing skills are okay, hopefully. Ah. Uh, got something. What is that? Pile of five scrap. That's not too bad, though. That's not bad. But let's... What's our... Fucking food. We are right at the end of fucking food, guys. Oh my god. You know what? We have to say fuck it, guys. We have to. I, I feel like we have to say fuck it and go out there. Let's try it. Let's, let's fucking try it. I know it's bad, but... We, we got to get food. We have to, or we're gonna starve to death already. We're right there. Look at how fast the hunters moved. Or whatever you want to call those bandit guys. Do you see that shit, guys? Oh, I didn't see the bag of groceries up there. Fuck. We really need that moving fast perk. We really need it badly. Oh, you asshole. No! Oh, the fast mover made me stop, and then they're right there. Fuck. Okay, we are attacked by a zombie. We didn't even bring food back, but we brought 10 bucks. That is bad. We are out of food. We are completely out of food, and it is still high. How much is food? I think we might have to buy fucking food. Cost is $4 for 10 food. Let's buy 20 food. We have to keep our guys up. We have to keep our food up. We have to until we... Yeah, we, we had no choice, guys, but we're, we're having to spend money on fucking food already. We're, we're bad. This is very fucking bad. But at least we got some fucking food. Um, it's high still. Shit. Well, against better judgment, let's go fishing. That's safer than that, because we don't want to keep getting hit out there. Because, yeah, they move fast, and I don't think I'm going to stand a chance till... We get that movement perk, basically, is what I think. I really need that movement perk. I'm in desperate fucking need of that movement perk. A tire? I don't even think that goes to uh, our stocks, I don't think. Let's check, but I don't think it does go to our stocks, unfortunately. And, oh, it does! That's badass! So we actually 
grabbed a supply. I never, I don't think I noticed that before. So really all we need is a muffler before we head out. Well, we still need stuff, but yeah, I'm saying our car parts are taken care of almost. So all we'll really need is a muffler. Um, obviously we'll need some food and obviously we need fuel. So food and fuel are going to be our main motherfucker here. How's our food? Oh my god, we ate 10 fucking foods. So we're about to run out of food again. So let's go fishing. We have to recoup what we possibly can. So now I kind of get the point of fishing. It's not exactly a leisurely activity. It's just to try to alleviate the pain, basically, guys. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like lube in the bedroom, basically. It's basically like lube for when this game spreads your cheeks and gets ready to have you. So there's five fucking scrap. And we are out of food. We are fucking out. Son of a bitch. But we got scraps. That's great. So, man. And it's still high activity. It's... That reminds me. Isn't this about the time normally it goes to medium? That makes me wonder if there's even going to be a low anymore. It might just go to medium and that's the base. That you're going to get. But yeah, there's no combat perks here. Unfucking fortunately, I'd really love that, but no. I have an idea, guys. Uh, I don't. Let's see what stuff to trade. Six scrap for a muffler. Let's do it for our. Yeah, let's do that. So now our car parts are taken care of. That's great. Two med kits for a muffler. No, eat my dick. So that's what we have right now without passing the time. So that was not that bad actually, because now our, yeah, our car parts are taken care of. But we have food to worry about that we are running out of quickly, very, very quickly. We've never been this bad off on food and we need fuel to even get driving basically. So, shit. Shit, yeah, we're, there's no trading right now, so. Let's try to fish again. We have to wait for that to go down. I don't want to do high out right now. I don't want to do high. I do not want to fucking do high, uh... Yeah, high activity out there. Fuck that shit. That's horrible. And what's that, a shrimp? <laughs> a sardine for one ounce of food. Fuck me. But at least we're... Oh, man. Fanboy no... So Fanboy's taken care of. He's not sick anymore. Medium. Let's... No, 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 don't rest! Fuck, I didn't mean to do that. I wasted an hour. Shit. Alright, so that was my mistake. I fucked us over a little bit. But, it's medium. We have to get the fuck out there. We have to. So now while we can, let's fucking move, guys. Now is the time to strike. Medium and low is the time to strike. And there's a zombie rising from the fucking grave over there. Let's try to herd these fuckers together. If we can. Okay, there's a bag of groceries. You piece of shit. Asshole, no! Bitch! Oh, he made it out! Fuck! He made it out, guys. That son of a bitch moved so quick he made it out. I didn't want to stop and get chomped on my zombie. That really sucks. That piece of shit. Okay, but we got 15 ounces of food. <laughs> That's just enough. That's just enough. That's... That's nothing. Let's still scavenge some more. We are desperate. We are fucking desperate. It is unreal. You bitch! Fuck you. No! Fuck off! Bastard! No! Motherfucker! He made it out! Holy shit, guys! Are you... Bitch! Get out of here, you fucking chode! So yeah, I realize what the new danger is, guys. The zombies aren't all the problem now. The hunters, the bandits, whatever you want to call those fuckers, they are going to be the problem. Because look at that, how quickly they descended on us. They fucking descended and just snatched it all up. So yeah, we made, yeah, another, like, base starting. But it is low. So we are going to get the fuck out there. And we are going to fucking hit this shit up fast. Because, yeah, now is our best time to survive, basically. And I know that was a bad shot, but 
I really need to get as many of these fuckers out of the way as I can. So where's the supplies gonna be at? Come on. Fuck that. Where's the supplies at? I thought it was supposed to be decent supplies, you bitch! Not good, not good. They gain on you so quick. Look how quick they gain on you, man. So, no food. 20 scraps. So, yeah, we were just running out of food. We were just running out. Like, we're barely gonna have the, the, the means to make it. We may just have to say fuck it and drive. Because I just realized that, like, just sticking around might not be an option anymore. We might just need to keep on the fucking move. I'm not certain yet, because I don't know, but... Uh-oh, fast mover. Which is not good at all. Thankfully, he got caught up on a wall there. That saved our ass. Bitch! We got a grocery cart, though, and I believe that is the best pickup you can get. So that is great. So yeah, 270 ounces of food. Woo fucking who? 250. That's great. We might actually need the carry perk, guys. I just realized that. Now the carry perk may very well come in use. Very good. You bitch. Slow, the fast mover, not slow mover, is up there. And you're gonna fucking die today. I want you gone. I fucking hate the fast movers. They are the fucking worst, besides the boss encounters. But yeah. Woo! We're just, yeah. It, it's rough. It's, I can feel it immediately. But I'm enjoying it. It's intense. And my god, there's no more supplies? We basically came out to risk our ass for like one thing. 20 ounces of food. So yeah, guys, it is very rough. It's it's very fucking rough. That's for fucking sure. And you're in my way, you fucking green ass motherfucker. Green eggs and ham. I don't know why that reminded me of green eggs and ham, but it fucking did. Uh oh. Whip around and shoot him. There we go. There we go. We got a couple items now pretty good. I'm not complaining. I'll take everything I can get. I will take every bit that I can possibly get. You fast move piece of shit. No! No! Fast movers! God damn it! Okay, 15 ounces of food. What is our health like now? I wonder. Okay, we're at half health. But we're still making it. We're still kicking. Agony's still going strong, guys. Agony is still going strong. So yeah, the world is stacked against us. You know, I... Oh man, I, I want the shotgun, but I'm thinking about changing my weapon. I think I'm going to keep the shotgun, because I can at least... If I'm careful, do shit like this. Oh, like, no, not like that. I got ten bucks, but I got fucking chomped on again. Let's go back out for a medium. Oh my god, this is ruthless. Be careful what you ask for, Agony, you dumb fuck. You wanted tough, you got tough, man, like... Oh my god. You fucking bastards. You fucking bastards. Just holy shit. Okay, well... We've made it, so medium's not too bad. Medium and low is gonna be our our go-to's, <laughs> basically. Any more than that is not a very good idea. 100 ounces of food, that's great. So we're gonna just keep going. We're gonna keep fucking going. We need this. We fucking need to hoard. We are fucking hoarders, basically, guys. We are fucking hoarders, and we're gonna be hoarding the fucking ever-living shit out of everything we can. Fuck you. And fuck you too. So actually, the hunters haven't been around right now. The bandits. Uh-oh. 
Ah! Damn it, 57 ounces of food. I am just getting... I am just getting mauled. I think we're at critical, aren't we? So no, we don't want to... Shit, we're gonna have to use a med kit already. I have to use one of my med kits. Let's go back out there until uh, the activity comes back. It's holy fucking dick. And is that a cactus over there? There should be no cactus. We are not in the desert yet. We're just in the first area, guys. We haven't even left yet. We have not left the first area. You bitch! Oh my god. Oh no! Seven ounces of food. Fuck. And it's back to high. And I'm not going to use a med kit just yet. But yeah, guys. So. What are we leaving with? We have all of our car parts that we need. Let's actually do one more thing. Let's see if we can trade. No, nope, nothing. Oh, we did the jobs, thankfully. But, so we are stocked up on our car parts. But our ammo's dwindling as we go out there. Our food is okay, but we're going to have to sell some of that. Because we can't even leave until we get some fuel. So what we're going to do next time we come back is we're going to sell some of our food just to get up the fuel we need to get the fuck out on the road. Because I have a feeling like the longer we stay, we're just, we're asking for trouble. I think we need to just like try to keep a pace about us now. Because you saw that as we waited like overnight, whatever, as we waited, our food just went boom, 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 and just went dwindled quickly. And I need to find a perk. I need the fast moving perk. I need body armor. I need something to survive. So yeah, guys, I hope you're enjoying this. It is a brutal fucking playthrough. But I am enjoying this. This The intensity is, is high. So yeah, join me next time, guys. We will continue on. At least all of our group members are alive for now. Let's hope and see if that persists. So I will see you guys next time. I hope you're having a fantastic, wonderful, amazing day. And this is Agony333 signing out. Have yourselves a splendid, amazing one, guys. Peace out. Have a great one.